G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Go check out the uh, LearnDelphi.tv website to find uh, additional free videos and also it might be worth your while checking out some of my commercial offerings. What we're going to do today is have a look at implementing properties on interfaces. Now, they're um, quite painful. Uh, there's a shortcut which I'm going to show you briefly, which is the purpose of this video. Um, but typically, you de declare a property, uh, give it a name, uh, it's a string, and we need a getter and setter. So, um, like so. And then, of course, we need to implement. Um, function like so. Um, that was a lot of typing and a lot of effort just to declare a string property. Now there is a code template. Um, there's a sort of generic um, with getter and setter, but what we want is this one with getter and setter methods. And that's saved us a little bit of typing. We still need to implement our um, the actual getter and setter. Uh, well, I'd say, when I say implement, uh, declare the actual methods. Um, but what I can do is um, if I do it here, um, the prop GS my string type string, and we have a look, and we see that it's uh, declared all the bits and pieces. Um, that we're interested in, and I can just copy that and paste it there, and I can in fact remove that property because we won't be using the property on the object, we'll be using it from the interface. And of course uh, the interface and object or class would be um, in different units, generally speaking. Particularly if you're using uh, something like Spring, um, the dependency injection or something like that. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, just using the getter and setter, um, if I, and if I reverse that again and take that out, I've mentioned this before, um, that to uh, add these here, I could copy and paste them, or I could press control space and highlight the two missing uh, functions and then implement them with a control shift C. Um, there are, of course, lots and lots of uh, code templates um, and these other um, uh, code templates are useful if you're implementing stuff on classes um, but it's better usually to do th things through interfaces where possible. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Hopefully this will uh, save you a bit of time in the future.